This presentation is devoted to the works of my late father, historian Dr. David Nyman. The information he conveys in these lectures is not only fascinating, but I think very important. It is a well-thought-out reconciliation of science, history, and religion. But more than just the facts, his performance was so good, his character so positive, and his purpose so pure that it caused his religiously jaded, academically alienated, wayward daughter to return to his orbit at the end of his life and become one of his greatest supporters. As a child, I knew that my father was a professor, which meant some kind of teacher. He worked at impressive looking college campuses, which were perfect for wild running and tree climbing. More than that, I did not understand. Later, I was told that he worked in the theology department, which had something to do with religion. That information also left me with little clue as to what he actually did. It was with this clear lack of understanding that at age 11, I invited my father to see my new favorite movie, In Search of Noah's Ark. From what I understood about my father's world, this would be the perfect fit. A documentary that dealt with the Bible as history and set out to prove the factual underpinnings of the story. How could I lose? The experts in the movie even looked like his kind of people. It is our belief that the rediscovery of Noah's Ark and the establishment of this fact scientifically would become the greatest archaeological discovery of all time. The rediscovery of Noah's Ark will bring into serious doubt some of the most important assumptions of modern science. Unfortunately, from the time we exited the theater, and really for the rest of his life, he never let me forget how wrong I was. Excuse me, Noah never lived, okay? Let's just leave that alone for the moment. We'll get to that later on. Noah never lived, and Noah's Ark is, and Noah's Ark is not on Mount Ararat. And not only that, let's make it clearer. The Bible does not mention Mount Ararat, okay? As clear as I can make it. Read the text and you'll see, it doesn't mention. It says, it came to rest on the mountains of the land of Urartu, of the land of Ararat. And Ararat is Armenia, and it's not on the top of those snow-covered mountains, El Boros and, and the Caucasus and these. I know every 10 years somebody goes an ex, with an expedition to find the wood of, the, of Noah's Ark. They'll never find it because it never existed. But that's another story. Forgive me for saying that. There it is.